On today's Kids Corner, Maury is about to be run over by a train. Maury, the train is coming around the bend. Just get a little closer and you can jump and land on the slope. Yeah, come on, Maury, you can do that. Jump? Are you crazy? Maury, it's either jump or be squashed. Be squashed? Jump! Come on, Maury, jump! Here I go! Maury! Stay tuned. Liz dashed across the playground at lightning speed. The morning buzz at school was about the highly anticipated season premiere of the reality TV show... Uh, Dare ya! Hey guys, did you watch Dare ya last night? Are you kidding? <laughs> Dare ya, the ultimate test of courage and coolness. Yeah. Of course I watched it. I was practically glued to my TV. <laughs> oh, me too, man. Oh, me too. <laughs> the most accurate way of describing my reaction would be to say that... I was completely immersed in it. It's amazing what some people on that show will actually do. Oh, that's true. I mean, it is pretty silly. (gasps) Lucille? What? Silly? Yeah. Oh, come on. The pressure was on. Here's this lone iguana surrounded by his teammates. What's he going to do? He's got to take the dare. There's nothing silly about that. Liz, are you trying to tell me that eating a bowl full of horsefly guts isn't just a little moronic? Oh, come on. What's wrong with it? Wrong? You know, I think I have to say I'm with Lucille on this. What? Mm-hmm. Well, I guess my palate just isn't distinguished enough. Oh, come on, Maury. Uh, right now, my taste buds are screaming, Duh, hello, Maury. Horsefly guts aren't too terribly tasty. Well, that may be the case, Maury, my man, but you would think otherwise if your coolness was on the line. Yeah. Yeah, like Lucille said, people do some strange things under pressure. Yeah. Yeah, they even do stranger things when they're influenced by peer pressure. Wow. Which, by the way, is the only reason anyone takes those dares in the first place. Well, you may be right, Lucille, but in the end, I think it's all worth it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. On the final show, the last lizard standing is crowned oh, yeah. the, the King, King of, of Coolness. coolness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I can almost see it now. Lizardo Lacerda, the King of Coolness. Coolness. For your information, Liz, there are a lot more important things in life than having everyone think you're cool. Um, um yeah, really. if it was me, I'd just walk away taking my pride with me. Oh, yeah, yeah me right. Sure you would, more. No, really, I'd walk. Anyway, how about all those stunts performed at death-defying heights, huh? Ooh, actually, those give me serious bouts of indigestion. <laughs> oh, speaking of indigestion, do you remember the time when that fat little oh, no, lizard... no, 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 you don't mean that yeah, one. Yeah, that one, exactly. Oh. Oh. How can he eat those? Oh, I don't even... Talk about it. Oh, come on. I'm warning you guys. Oh, come on, Maury. Oh, man, they were, they were so slimy. Yeah, and slippery. And, and so gross. gross. <laughs> oh, I'm not listening. La, 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 la. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. At that very moment, Liz and Lucille turned to see two young lizards jump off their swings and run off to play hopscotch. Hey, Lucille, I'll race you to the swings. No, I don't want to race. Oh, I dare you. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I am. And, girl, I dare you. You dare to dare me? As a matter of fact, Lucille, I double dare you. Times infinity. All right, Hotshot, you're on. All right, you ready? Set, Set go! go! Hey, wait up. Come on, Maury. Last one there's a bowl of rotten horsefly guts. Oh, I'm not listening, Spike. I'm not listening. You're also not running, Slowpoke. Come on, shake a leg. <laughs> oh, me. I am the third. I am the first. Oh, yeah. You only barely won. And besides which, who cares? I got the other swing. (laughs) No fair. I was too busy covering my ears. Oh, Maury. Too bad. Uh, Hey, I'll tell you what, Maury. I have just had a great idea. Yeah? You can have my swing (gasps) if you... Wow, Liz, that's awfully kind of you. What a thoughtful and most generous gesture of friendship. Maury, Maury, wait. I wasn't finished. Uh, You can have my swing, but if and only if... You jump from the swing when I say you're high enough. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Isn't that a bit hazardous, precarious, and downright irresponsible? Oh, Stupid yeah. Show. Dare ya. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Just like the TV show. Dare ya. The ultimate test of courage and coolness. Come on, <laughs> Maury. I dare ya. I, I don't know, ya. guys. This feels a, like a lot of pressure. Maury, you I dare ya. You can do it, Maury. Besides, it's not like Liz is daring you to eat a slimy bowl full of horsefly guts. <laughs> oh, don't say that. I'm not listening. Maury, I dare ya to jump off the swing. 
Don't do it, Marnie. If my calculations are correct, Liz, you are trusting um, that the percentages of me not accepting your dare are fairly high. Yes, Maury, so don't do it, Maury. You're stalling. However, with the wind blowing out of the northwest at roughly three miles per hour, what? and the morning sun having warmed the sand by approximately six degrees, um, thus adding more cushion to my landing, Maury, what about about I feel it, fairly confident that accepting your challenge will not in any way bring me bodily harm. Don't do it. Hmm. Um, just out of curiosity, Maury, was that a yes or a no? Move over, Lizarardo. Oh, no. What? I accept your challenge. Oh, Maury. Maury brushed past Liz and hopped onto the swing. He began pumping his legs as hard as he could. Maury! 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 Before long, Maury swung to a respectable height. A crowd of students started to gather. They too began chanting. Maury! 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 Okay, here I go! Uh, higher than this? Yeah, higher. 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 Okay. There is. Is this high enough for you? Yeah, yeah, Maury. I dare you to go higher. Higher. Or are you too scared? Maury was scared. His stomach was doing triple backflips, and he was going so high the swing was starting to buckle when he got to the top. Somewhere deep inside, he was thinking, Oh, so this is what peer pressure feels like. Dare ya! Dare ya! Dare ya! Dare ya! Maury was sure he couldn't possibly pump any higher. If he did, he feared he might actually flip the swing right over the bar. Suddenly, he heard the words he was dreading most. This is crazy! Nuts! I'm gonna die! Jump! 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 jump. I'm not jumping! It's too high! I dare you, Maury! The pressure was too intense. How could Maury walk away? And then, to his great surprise, he heard his very own voice blurt out, Stand clear! Here I come! Come on, you can do it, Maury! Unable to control himself in the midst of sheer horror, Maury blurted out the only word that came to his mind. Liz, is that you? Yeah, of course it is. Am I still alive? Oh, Maury. Oh, my foot. Oh, that was so cool. I, I love it. Hurt my foot. <laughs> I oh, must man. admit, I never thought you'd do it, Maury. Um, I don't think I can walk. Oh, man, I figured uh, that if I got you to go that high, there's no way you'd actually jump. Hey, I'm in pain here. <laughs> what? What? What's what going on? Are you all right? You're limping. Yeah. I think I sprained my ankle when I hit the ground. Oh. That sand wasn't as soft as I thought it'd be. My calculations must have been off a few degrees. <laughs> Only you, Maury. You know what? What's cool is that you're a playground hero. <laughs> yeah, blacktop legend. Oh, you mark my words. Every year, kindergartners will be told of the day that Maury Clumpto set the record for the highest leap from the swing set. Together, they will stand and imagine the great feat that we privileged few witnessed here today. Wow, we. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thanks, Liz. Oh, sure. For what? Well, for, for daring me and, and turning me into a hero. Oh, no problem. <laughs> now, could you get the school nurse? Um, oh, the pain. Oh, yeah. The yeah. pain. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh. During lunch in the cafeteria, everyone marveled at Maury's bravery. Oh, man, that was so cool watching yeah. you fly through the air, Maury. That was awesome. Oh, thanks, Spike. <laughs> I just have a question. Sure. What were you screaming? Yeah. What? Yeah, you oh, were screaming. What do you mean, screaming? I mean, yeah, I wasn't Maury, screaming. you were screaming somebody's me. name. Yeah, it sounded like Mao Me. Yeah, yeah that's what maybe I something like oh, that. Oh, that. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that um just so happens to be an ancient term, oh. which when translated, um, uh -huh. means, uh, yeah. fear 
fabulous one. Hey! Oh, cool. Well, anyway, Maury, at first I thought you were screaming, Mommy! <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> no, 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 Sariba. <laughs> that's downright funny, Liz. Uh, mommy, Mommy. Fearless one, that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that is yep. cool. Mm-hmm. Fearless one. That's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you'd yelled mommy, <laughs> every kid in school would be laughing at you. <laughs> well, I didn't. Spike. And besides, I didn't see you flying through the air. Um, in fact, I haven't seen you do anything but talk a lot. What are you talking what? about? Mommy? Spike, I dare you to <laughs> eat all your cricket legs covered in super duper hot pepper sauce. <laughs> Spike, you don't have to do that. Sure, Maury. I accept your dare. You do? Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, no one's got any super duper hot pepper sauce. Well, Maury, today just happens to be your lucky day. It is? Because it just so happens that I snuck a bottle of dragon oh. breath hot sauce in my backpack last night yes. after watching Dare Ya. <laughs> what? Why'd you do that? Well, just in case the opportunity came up to dare somebody. Well, duh. shame on well, you. Well, here, let me pour it on for you, Spike. Oh, no. <laughs> Maury. Oh, that's some serious hot dog. <laughs> well, I ain't eating them now. Oh, come you on. Don't have I to. dared you to, Spike. Yeah. Dare me all you want. I ain't eat. Oh, that's we'll right. About you don't that. have to. Hey, everybody, come here, come here. Hey, look, Spike is backing down it's, from a dare. It's okay, Spike. <laughs> really, it's okay. Come on, that ain't fair. Oh, uh, what? It's Excuse amazing me? what you can do with a little encouragement. Yeah, yeah that's called peer pressure, Maury. And just because you're feeling the pressure of everyone watching you doesn't mean you have to do this, Spike. I don't. No, of course not. Liz, this dare you stuff has just gone far enough. What? You almost got Maury killed this morning with your dare. Oh, I did not, Lucy. And now Spike's about to scorch his taste buds. If you eat him fast, you might not even taste the fire. There you go. Down the hatch then, Spike. Come on, come on. Fine. Here goes nothing. I need water. You call that a dare? Oh, hey, Skink. What's up? So I hear you bunch of pansies have been handing out dares, well, huh? yeah, after watching last night's well, new show. Well, I've been thinking. I've got a real dare for you guys. A, a real, real dare? dare? Exactly. Oh. Meet me after school behind the football field. What? Oh, Skink, there's nothing behind the football field. Well, yeah, there's nothing back there. Oh, uh, no. Except the railroad tracks. Now you little wimps are catching on. <laughs> I don't know. I've been told not to go near the railroad oh, tracks. Yeah. What's Skink. wrong? Are you scared? Skink? Well, um, actually... No, uh, no, Skink. Maury is not scared. Then I dare no. you to show up. And bring along your friend Spike, too. Wait a minute, that's it? That's the dare? Just show up? I'll tell you the rest when and if you show up. Well, Skink, we will be there. Good. Yeah. See you tough guys later. <laughs> yeah, later, Skink. Um, excuse me, Liz. Yeah? Uh, just for the sake of clarification, uh-huh. when you said that we'll be there, who specifically were you referring to? Oh, come on. We can't wimp out, you guys. The pressure's on. Are you with me or not? Uh, Okay, great. I'm going to take that as a yes. Uh I'll see you two after school. All the kids poured out of school and headed toward home when the bell sounded the end of another day, except for four friends who were sneaking out the back door and racing across the football field. Okay, all right, Skank, we're here. So what's your big dare? You know where the tracks cross the river? Yeah, what about it? I do dare you to cross over the railroad bridge. What? what? Are you crazy? Uh-uh. Cross over the railroad bridge? No way. Skink, hey, that is way too I risky. I do it all the time. Yeah, well, so? But if you losers are too scared... Uh, Skink, there's a comparatively high probability that when a uh, train will approach while we're in transit, that's conceivably putting our very lives in jeopardy. Hey, English bookworm. What Maury's saying is that there's a good chance a train could come while we're crossing over the bridge. Yeah, yeah and in English, that would be cataclysmic. Absolutely. Look, you're either in 
or you're out. How oh, easy. That's easy, skink. We're out. Yep, out. I'm out. Yeah. Me too. My tongue's still burning from the last day. Yeah. Yep, definitely out. We're just not going to do something stupid because of a little oh. peer pressure, oh. skink. Yeah. We know when to say no. We know when to walk away. You tell mm-hmm. Okay, wimps. Skink, I don't you care. can call us wimps all you want. We're still not going to be stupid enough to walk across that bridge. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you might not care if I call you wimps. Yeah. But what about when everyone in school starts calling you wimps? Um, um why would they do that? Yeah. Because of all the posters that'll be plastered on the school walls. What, what? posters? Yeah, what are you I talking about? The ones yeah. with your pictures standing next to the railroad tracks and the word wimps written across the bottom? What? Um, precisely what posters are you talking about, Ski? Yeah. Say cheese, you losers. <laughs> the posters no. I'm going to make with this picture I just took of you. Oh, no. <laughs> Unless... You cross the bridge. Oh, Skink, not even you would do this. Try me. Oh, but come you on. can't do that. That's blackmail. Yeah. No, that's just peer pressure, Maury. Oh. Nice try, Skink, but we're not budging. Ooh. Lucille, Lucille, what? let's not be so hasty. Why? He's got our picture. So? Remember the posters? Oh, so what? Anyway, uh, I'm sure the bridge isn't that scary. Liz. Enough talking. Let's start walking. <laughs> Liz, Maury, Spike, and Lucille slowly made their way down the tracks, egged on by Skink. Ten nervous minutes later, they rounded the bend to reach... The bridge. <sighs> wowie, kazowie, that's a long drop down to the river. Yeah. Yep, nothing but air and water below. <laughs> hey, uh, Maury, just how long do you think that drop actually is? Yeah. By my calculations, I'd say it's at least... 50 to 75 feet. Oh, oh don't worry about the fall. Oh, it's, really? Why not? Because it's not the fall that hurts you. It's mm-hmm. not? Nope. It's the landing. <laughs> <laughs> now, who's going to go first? Fine, Skink, fine. You know, I've always wanted to cross this bridge. What? Yeah. You have? He's got our picture, Lucille. I don't have a choice. Oh, yes, you always have a choice, Liz. <sighs> no. You don't have to give in to peer pressure. Look, uh, Maury, are you going with me? Say no. I don't know, Come Liz. On. My no. ankle is really sore, and I may have torn something. Spike, what about you? Mm, um, well, it is a long way down. It Fine. is a Look, very long way down. I'm going. Who's going with me? Uh, fine, all right, I'm in. Thank you. Lucille? No way. You guys are making the wrong choice for all the wrong reasons. Fine, then I'll see you when I get back. Liz took his first step out on the bridge. Looking down, he could see the blue water rippling far below. Whoa. He took two more steps and then another. Okay, all right. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, Maury, Spike, come on. All right, all right, I'm coming already. Come on. Hey, Hey, careful. It's kind of windy out yeah, here. Yeah, I know. At this rate, you guys won't be back till tomorrow morning. You guys be careful. Oh, I gotta get off this thing. Okay, Liz, let's speed it up a little. Focus on the railroad ties. Oh, oh, don't look down. Don't look down. While Liz was trying to go faster, Maury was having trouble. He had only taken one step out on the bridge when he quickly dropped to his knees. Maury! What are you doing, Maury? Come on! I get too dizzy if I stand up. I, I mean... I mean, um, my ankle hurts. Look, Maury, just don't look at the water, okay? Uh, okay. Don't look at the water. Don't look at the water. Oh, oh no. What? Uh, did you feel that? Uh, feel what? Oh, no. I think I do. Oh, see? I do. Feel oh, what? No. What am I missing? It's a vibration. Well, what kind of vibration? Um, the kind that a... Don't say train. Whatever you see, don't say it. The kind of train makes. Uh, the kind that train makes. I said don't say it. Uh, come on, Maury. We've got to hurry. I'm we going get, as no. fast as I can. Maury, come on. Crawl faster, Maury. Come yeah, on. Come on. Liz and Spike made it to the other side, but Maury was still crawling along. Maury, you got to stand up. I, I can't, Liz. I, I'm too scared. Come on. I see the train. Maury, Maury, the train is coming around the bend. Come on, hurry, Maury. Come on. I can't go any faster. I'm afraid I'll fall. Maury, the engineer is not going to be able to stop it in time. You've got to hurry. Just get a little closer and you can jump and land on the yeah, slope. Come on, Maury, you what? can do that. Jump? Are you crazy? Maury, it's either jump or be squashed. Be squashed? Jump! jump come on, Maury, jump. jump! This is it. I'm out of time. Here I go. Mommy! Oh, oh Maury. Maury, 
Are you all right? I, uh, think so. Oh, I'm so glad. Hey! Oh, well, what are you kids doing up there? Uh, Grandpa? Grandpa? I, hey! Where, where'd you come from? I was out in my boat and saw you all on the tracks. I tried shouting, but none of you heard me. Oh, boy, Grandpa, am I glad to see you. You almost got yourselves killed. Yeah, I know. I saw the whole thing from down below. I couldn't believe my eyes. It, uh, gave me a heart attack. No, I know, Grandpa. We should never have been up there. I'll give you kids a ride back across on my oh, boat, but then we're going to go to my house, and you've got some explaining to do. All right, yes, Grandpa. Grandpa. Thank you. Okay. By the time they got back across the river and met up with Lucille, Skink was long gone. They all jumped into Grandpa's truck and headed to the farm where Grandpa sat them around the kitchen table and demanded some answers. What in the world were you boys thinking? It was a dare, Grandpa. A dare? Yeah. Yeah, Skink was going to plaster our pictures all over the school with the word wimps written on it. Yeah. Oh, he was, was he? Oh, well, yeah, and then we wouldn't be cool anymore. But if you took this dare, then you reckon that'd make you cool? Um... Yes? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. And it almost cost you and your friend's life to be cool. Well, y you know, we didn't exactly plan on that, Grandpa. Yeah, and sometimes things don't go the way we plan. Yeah. Well, the best thing you can do when you feel like you're being pressured into something is to stop and ask questions. Well, like what kind of questions? How about this one? Is being cool worth getting run over by a train? Precisely. Oh. Well, is it? No, Grandpa. And another good tactic against peer pressure is to threaten the person who's egging you on that you'll tell someone in charge. Wait, isn't that being a tattletale? Yeah. Well, it's certainly not being a tattletale if you know that what you're being pushed to do is wrong or dangerous. Saying you'll tell a teacher, a parent, or another adult will usually scare who's ever pressuring you into backing off. You know, I didn't even think of that. No, me neither. And then finally, you need to ask yourself, is this something God would want me to do? It's all about the choices you make. Do you see it? Yeah. You always have to choose what's right. And if somebody's pressuring you to do the wrong thing, you you got to be brave enough to walk away. Wow, mm -hmm. me. <laughs> yeah. So what was that? Fearless ones. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's right, son. And being fearless is what it's all about. You've got to be brave enough to walk away from what someone is pressuring you to do. Like when somebody's pressuring you to cross a railroad bridge? Mm hmm Or even cheat on a test? Yeah. Or swear? Or do drugs? Or eat your cricket wings covered in dragon's breath super-duper hot sauce? <laughs> 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 Sorry about that, Spider. Now you're catching on. That's what truly makes someone cool choosing what's right instead of giving in to peer pressure. All right. You understand? Yeah. Thanks, Grandpa. Mm -hmm. This is sure one lesson we won't soon forget. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> yeah. Liz, Lucille, Maury, and Spike all learned that it's important to stand up for themselves and for God in the face of pressure. After the dangerous incident on the train tracks, they realized that being cool has nothing to do with proving yourself. In the Bible, where we're told how God wants us to live our lives, we're even given guidance on how to deal with peer pressure. In Romans chapter 12, verse 1, we're told, Don't let the world squeeze you into its mold. Put simply, when you're facing pressure to do something you shouldn't, stop and ask what is truly pleasing to God. Try it today. Soon you too will understand that that is the ultimate sign of coolness.